And we are live. Good afternoon po, mga kapidaks. And welcome to our third episode of our weekly webinar series. Um, for those that's just tuning in now and first time lang mag-attend ng mga webinar ng PDAX, um, we host a weekly weekly webinar episode that is live streamed and produced and shared via Facebook and YouTube to you, viewers. So you can learn more about cryptocurrencies, blockchain, and everything under the sun. So our first episode was regarding um, the new normal and adjusting to how platforms have changed under the under the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. And that was with our CEO and founder, Nichelle, and Lazada's head of acquisition, uh, Gerard Eskay. That was nung last week naman, we had a live tutorial and walkthrough care of our very own uh, PDAX King Santiago. So for this week naman, now that you know how to use our exchange and platform, what we want to introduce naman this week for this week's topic is to build your own cryptocurrency trading strategy. So, for, so nung nakita nyo yung poster namin, um, Shempre, we wanted to invite none other than uh, those who are experts and those who have been um, trading for a long time already now. So I will just introduce this week's guest, and he's none other than uh, Ken Ken Nalugo, all the way from Cebu, and he is a Z Freaks Z Freaks tribe mentor and a full time trader now. And I'll just Include them now here. Hi, Ken. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Uh, just for those tuning in just right now, hello once more again. Welcome to our third episode of our weekly webinar series, no? where we'll be discussing blockchain and crypto. So, hi, Ken. Thank you so much for um, attending and joining us this week. Hello. Thank you. Good afternoon, guys. Uh, right. So super excited na actually to um, learn more and Siguro you could give a brief uh, intro about yourself no? and how, how you got into trader trading, how long can you trade and what do you expect to, uh, what do you plan on sharing with us on this week's webinar? Sure. Uh, yeah, um, I've been trading for almost five years already and two years na a full-time trader. I started... Uh, investing first it was just purely investing um so i started with uh i'm i'm quite sure you guys know about like uh trc or truly rich club by bo sanchez yes. so yun yung first na ano ko na nag start ako na mag invest when i was still working as a call center agent two years back so typical ano typical um youth na uh, walang savings you know, gastos ng gastos up until I get to hear uh, some um, tips kay galing kay Bo about investing and how to save and stuff like that. So um, that lead me to um, engage with the Philippine stock market. Nice. And um, you're part of Z Freak Stripe, no? Which is a renowned yes. uh, trading community here. Sa sa right. Pina. Right. right. And I'll be sharing to you guys just the basic, just a few of the basic concepts about um, support and resistance and how you identi identify trends so that um, it would be easier for you to, you know, you, you so you can just have a, a overview on how to approach the market, especially if, if you're trading uh, cryptocurrency since um, mabibilis talaga, we all know volatile talaga yung cryptocurrency, right? So 24 at least... Seven. Right, right. So at least you guys have an an idea on how to approach it. Right. Okay. Um. Thank you, Ken. Before we head in straight into your talk, no, your exciting talk, we'll just uh remind our viewers. Now we'll also be having uh another giveaway, our weekly giveaway, um, PDAC shirts. Uh, we'll be giving away five PDAC shirts to those who are participating and asking questions because we'll after Ken's talk. What we'll have naman is 
uh, we'll have question. We'll be having a Q and A to entertain your questions for those who are interested to learn more about uh, Figuro, like anything understand, like Ken, you know, Ken's trading strategies or um, uh, more questions about support and resistance and like building our own strategies. So I am now just a reminder for our viewers who are just tuning in once more. Hello, uh, welcome to our weekly weekly webinar where we'll be talking about cryptocurrencies, blockchain, and even teaching you and learning, uh, teaching you how to become a better trader. No. Okay, so if there are not much questions and no more questions, uh, I think we can start already, Ken. We can start right. already with your presentation. So I'll be sharing my screen now. Save it. There you go. There. All right. So again, good evening. Ah, good evening. Till I uh, find up, pala. <laughs> so good, afternoon. good afternoon, guys. So, so we'll be talking about identifying trends and um, understanding just the basic concepts about uh, support and resistance. All right. So, um, if you're still new to trading, especially if you're you just you don't have any account yet or you don't know where to you know do some to ch check out charts we actually have a lot of uh free um charting platforms so if you're interested to engage with the global markets or cryptocurrency we have uh, tradingview.com we also have a local um charting soft uh, charting website which is for free it's uh, investagrams.com so I use both Trading View and Investagrams in engaging um, in, in, in how I check uh, the uh, stocks or commodities, especially if I'm trading um, the global market. So maganda sa Investagrams, they're trying to, ano din, they're trying to think, um, maglalagay na din sila ng mga Forex or something like that. So you can just check it out. So for cryptocurrency, the, uh, Pidax, I'm using Pidax. Um, I'm actually, I have an account with them and been trading for quite some time sa crypto. So let's talk about support and resistance. So here, support and resistance is basically uh, just the side where the supply and demand is. So kunyari guys, um, the support is being the demand side. It is an area where maraming buyers compared to sellers. So it's a level, it's an area level um, where you expect a downtrending move uh, to pause kasi maraming, um, maraming gustong bumili on that area. Okay. So here's an example chart. This is Ripple. Uh, this is XRPUSD. So as you can see, um lang, get, let me get my pen here so before moving up here as you can see um around this area nasa 30 um 31 cents sorry, right and it went up and then made a uh down move and then afterward it rebounded on this area so how do I delete this? Yeah. So basically, once an area here, like hit shut sa area na to, once a, a um, commodity or a crypto or stock, uh, nag rebound siya on that area, basically, you will see that, ah, okay, so meron palang mga potential or demand in this area. There are buyers on this area. Right. So that's the reason why nag bound siya on that area. So after that, that would be the time that you can just draw your uh, horizontal line in that area. And there might be a possibility in the next few days that the uh, crypto or the or, or that uh, whatever you're trading, um, pwedeng balikan yung area level na yan. So as you can see, guys, as what I've just um, nakita nyo sa slide kanina, Na highlight yung area because support and resistance are actually areas. Hindi siya, um, hindi siya one line lang. So it's it's an area. So as you can see, my wick tie over here. 
as here as well and then afterwards ni revisit niya but dito lang hanggang dito lang so afterwards um tumuloy nagmove yung ripple and then up until this area hindi niya na halos na touch so that's a, basically how you plot your um support and resistance uh personally what i do is i uh, put a, a horizontal line at the lowest part of the wick so this one over here and then another vert uh, horizontal line at the lowest body of the candle so it's here so that would be my and how i personally do my uh, support and resistance plotting so again we're gonna go back that area here may bounce tayo and then i draw my um, support at those low lowest levels so at the same way uh, resistance is an area again it is an area on a chart that uh, that price has risen to but struggled to break above so that price level basically maraming gusto magbenta so there is a strong supply so let's take a look at another chart. Again, this is Ripple. With this same chart earlier, this, um, this uh, crypto currency from us, and then nagkaroon ng downward move. So basically what I do, I just draw a vertical line or horizontal line on the highest week and also the highest body. So that would be my um, resistance. Okay. So afterwards, as you can see, nung nag bumaba siya, and then it tried to went up again. Uh, pumasok siya dun sa area of your resistance. Not really exact price point, but nagkaroon siya ng week on that area. All right. So as you can see on the as the seeding days. Ripple tried to uh, uh, went uh, go up, but hindi pa rin niya na breaking resistance na yon. And basically, this area here has strong sellers or strong, yeah, maraming nagbebenta kaya siya nagiging resistance. So that's basically how you plot your um, support and resistance. So ayun, Sir Kent, uh, good question, no? So, kapag nagpa-plot ba daw ng support and resistance, saan ba mas maganda? Is it from the closing price or the wick? So, wala naman talagang perfect na uh, sagot dyan. But personally, what I do, again, I just plot uh, the highest point of my body, candlestick body, and highest point of the wick. So that I could get the range, that potential range, kung saan um, pupunta possibly yung yung um, stock na yon or yung uh, crypto whatever um, yung tinitrade mo so guys i encourage you to ask questions ha, just in case you have uh, hindi masyadong clear so yes, basically yeah. that's yes so that's how you plot your support and resistance now let's go ahead and um, oh by the way again there's a quote here i forgot sinong nag ano nito <laughs> Uh, but draw your support and resistance like a crayon rather than a pen. So instead of putting just one line at exact prices, so candlesticks, um, make sure to get the uh, the range, because there there is a possibility, kasi na um, yung ano na yan, yung stock or crypto na yan is babasagin niya yung high ng candlestick mo and it will just go back. So if you can't get the range, um, possibly ma whip ka lang or uh, gakaron ka ng maling execution for that. So just, again, take note, draw the support and resistance like a crayon. So makapal siya instead of just putting one line, just like a pen. So let's talk about uh, the anatomy of support and resistance. Okay, so there are actually two. We have uh, rebounds and pullbacks. So I've mentioned it earlier. So rebounds 
happen after price hits a particular support zone. So once the stock is going up and then nagretracia, we have a rebound over here. So tumalbog. Tumalbog siya in this area. So that would be the time na, ah, okay, since tumalbog siya on that area, my potential support pala dito. And as you can see, once that area na revisit, my talbog ulit tayo dito. And as you can see, this area here has been supported na mga, um, na mga buyers. Okay? So for... On the other hand, the pullbacks happen after price hits a particular resistance. So, ito naman, kabalik taran ng rebound. Okay? Once the price hits a particular um, area of resistance, so, nag pullback siya or bumaba siya. Right? So, the price was going up, then nagkaroon ng pullback. So, basically, that will be the time na masasabi mo, ah, okay, so since nag-pullback siya on that area, there might be a possibility na may resistance tayo dyan. Okay? So that's the anatomy of um, your uh, plotting your support and resistance. So this two will be your main identifiers of SNR, or support and resistance. It means that you would not know that there is a resistance if there is no pullback and support if there is no rebound. So as you can see, if tomataas yung price and you see the price uh, nag pullback siya, so meaning that will be the time na ah, okay, so may resistance pala tayo dito. So that's how, mag start ka ng mag plot ng resistance lines mo. And then after that, you just need to extend it. And that and get that area of resistance. And afterwards, if my rebound tayo na makita, then that would be the time that you can plot your support. And that support again, just extend it way to the right. Cause there would be a possibility that the price will revisit those levels. And that will form your support and resistance. My question C Frankson, um Ken. Ano pong oh, time sorry. frame ang magandang gamitin to plot the support and resistance? Okay. So, that's a good question. It actually depends sa type of uh, trades that you're looking at. So, if you're a medium ter uh, short-term trader, basically some traders do scalping. So, they use um, minute charts like 3 minutes or 5 minutes. Others Others use 15 and 30 minutes. For medium-term traders, they go um, hourly chart to daily chart. Um, and for for position traders or long-term traders, they usually just use daily and weekly. I personally use daily chart, um, but on but when when I'm trading cryptocurrency, I use a lower time frame for that. So depends uh depends um type of trades you're looking for. Because you just want to get in and out of the uh, crypto na gusto mo trade. So basically, you'll just use a short-term time, time frame. So you can just use 15 minutes, 3 minutes, 5 minutes. And you will, um, dun ka na magpa-plot ng support and resistance mo. Do take note though, that the longer the time frame, possible siyang Ma, um, ma stronger siya compared sa low um lower time frame. So kunyari nagpa-plot ka ng SNR mo sa 5 minutes and then so the drawing ko lang. Kunyari on a 5 minute time frame you're doing your support and resistance, right? Ayan. But on a daily chart, you have this big resistance over here. So there's a possibility na once the price hits that area, magre react siya. Because again, higher time frame, mas malakas siya compared to the lower time frame. So, yung sample kanina was a daily in the daily and an hourly chart. Okay. Yes, Philip. Uh, 
uh, sometimes other other traders, I mean, use um four hours. So again, wala siyang wala siyang ano, wala siyang tama or mali na sagot. So depend na yan sa objective mo as a trader and how you do how you approach trading. Right. Thank you. Um let's go on. For the other questions, siguro up to you na lang Ken, if you want to answer them or after your presentation. Okay, sure. Yeah. Thank you. So now let's talk about market trends. There are actually two types of trends. We have trending and non-trending. And under trending, we have an uptrend and a downtrend. And for non-trending, we have sideways. So isa-isa natin tong uh, tatlong to, no? So let's start with uptrend. Uptrend, uh, this describes when the price of a stock, crypto, or commodity is moving upward or getting higher, right? It is characterized by series of higher highs and higher lows. So let me show you an example here. This is Ethereum on a hourly chart, right? So first of all, before you can identify uh, what trend um, you are trading, the price that you are trading, first, it is a must for you to identify your support and resistance, which we talked about earlier, right? So in this chart, let's go ahead and identify. We have an area of resistance over here where prices went up and then nag pull back siya, right? We also have one over here. So let's plot first our resistance line. So that's the highest line that I've plotted. And then our support, we have a support area over here when pri when prices went down, nag rebound siya, and then um when prices went here at this area again there's a rebound as well here you'll see that so that's your resistance and this will be your support right so since we have plotted our support and resistance that's going to be our high and low so again the definition of an uptrend is what series of higher high and higher low. Now, since we only have one high over here, so hindi pa siya uptrend, right? And we, we have one low. So we need at least two higher highs and two higher lows. So here, as you can see, the price broke out from that area of resistance. So again, do take note, once a breakout happens, so breakout, no, lumabas yung, yung price, at that area of resistance. So there's a possibility that it's gonna continue to go up, right? In this case, it did went up. Thus, let's now identify making its first um, or second high pala. So that would be your higher high na. As you can see, your resistance and your support, right? So my higher high, higher low. So this is, in relation, this high here is in relation to this high. So, mas mataas na high compared to this one. And this, again, this higher low in relation to this low over here. So, can we call this a uptrend already? No. <laughs> Hindi pa siya talaga totally uptrend. Because there's a po still a possibility that um, prices will just go back to this area. That's making just a big... Uh, consolidation move again the um, the definition of an uptrend is a series of higher high and higher low series of higher high mean at least two higher high this is only the first initial move here the high so this is the first high higher high so we need to identify again na dapat magkaroon siya na another higher high so that's two already two higher highs and higher lows so by that time, if you see that on your chart, then basically what you're trading is a uptrending or price. Sorry, stuck in vlog yung sinasabi ko kasi I'm, uh, nag-trade kasi ako ng ano, uh, Philippine stocks tsaka global equities. So mahilig ako sa stocks. Sorry. <laughs> Nasanay lang. Okay. So that's how you identify your, um, your uptrending move. Now let's go with downtrends, okay? It is basically the opposite of uptrend. It's when the price 
is moving downward or getting low, and it is characterized by a series of lower highs and lower lows. Okay, so in this case, we have Bitcoin, so BTC USD in an hourly chart. As you can see, let's go ahead and identify our support and resistance first. So we have one over here, as you can see, prices nag, nag uh, pull back yung mga yung price when once it hits that area, and then we have a rebound over here. The prices hit that area, and that would be our support and resistance. Okay. So afterwards, all you need to do is just wait if you will see a breakout or a breakdown. So again, breakout happens when, once a resistance is taken out. So prices are moving up. And breakdown happens when prices moving is moving down. So I mean, breakdown happens once a support area is taken out and potentially will move on a downward move movement. So in, in this case, we have this low over here was taken out. Got on siya ng breakdown, move a little bit high, and then it nagproceed siya, making your lower low and lower high. Right. So this would be your high, your low, your lower low, and your lower high. So again, we need to see another lower low and a lower high for you to identify that this move is already on a downtrend move because again like i always like i mentioned earlier there would be a possibility that the price will just go back in this area thus making just a big sideways movement okay so in this case we have another breakdown as well again this area this low was taken out okay prices rebound and then nag pull back din siya dito thus we now i can identify our second lower high and second lower low and in this case you can now say that this move is already on a downtrend this trend is on a downtrend as you can see guys pababa siya no so clear na clear naman yan okay now for the third one the non the non trending or what we call sideways market occurs when price of of a security trades within fairly stable ranges again or range without forming any distinct trend over trends over some period of time so price action here nag nagkakaroon lang siya ng horizontal ranges or, or other people call it a a channel so hindi mo pa alam if sinong my control is it, is it the buyers or is it the sellers if buyers are in control prices will move it, will move up if sellers are in control prices will be moving down right ang nakaganda lang when you're trading cryptocurrency guys um if the if the uh, price is moving down you can still trade it kasi may short yung ano may short tide dyan sa crypto or the, the global market Compared to the Philippine stock market, uh, we only have a long market. So it's very nice for you if you really want to, you know, take advantage of those two movements, uptrend or a downtrend movement. Um, you can you can trade cryptos or or kite um, global market because my short or long tayo. So in this case, a sideways move again. Uh, this is what I'm telling you guys earlier. So we have a long um uh, we have a breakout here right this high was taken out the price moved higher and then we have now another range of support so again this is your resistance this is your support that resistance was taken out price is, is moving upward form another resistance which is your first higher low right and in relation to this high over here, that's first higher low. All we need to do supposed to be is wait for another breakout from this area here to make a higher higher high, sorry. Yeah, higher high. But in this case, what the price did is it went down, broke down from this area of resistance and bumalik sa, sa previous resistance. So this is, by the way, Litecoin. 
So LTC USD. And afterwards, it just made a sideways movement, or other people call it consolidation. So we now have a big consolidation inside that range. So that's how you identify your um, sideways market. So another one here, another sideways move. Uh, this is still Litecoin on the daily chart. So the price here made a downward movement. And then after making a downward movement, it went to consolidation. Again, prices are just moving inside ranges before it eventually broke down and proceed to its um, bigger trend, which is like a downtrend. Because it's a downtrend. downtrend no? So you will see sideways movement um, or consolidations in trending, in trending markets then. So basically, if the stock or the price or the crypto you're trading is uptrend, hindi naman kasi tuloy-tuloy niyan pataas. So again, potential mag-consolidate. So you will see a sideways movement. before prices will start to go up because uh, prices won't really go into a straight line right magkakaroon siya ng uh, higher highs higher lows so para siyang wave guys no so that's how you identify your um, market trends and you can now take advantage of this new uh, information the share ng pidax in how you approach uh, in trading cryptocurrency. So in conclusion, support and resistance levels helps you identify price points on charts or chart where there, where the probabilities favor a pause or reversal of a prevailing trend. And trend gives you a general direction of price of a market and will help you trade in the favor of the trend. So, um, so that's it, basically. Uh, my questions with I, guys, or clarifications. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Ken, for your question. Uh, thank you for your presentations. I learned a lot now. Uh, Welcome. Just before we move on to the questions, um, mm -hmm. I just like to disclose lang rin na, uh, trading, uh, financial instruments like. Um, stocks or global equities or kahit pa naman, uh, even more even so on topic at hand which is cryptocurrencies is uh it's a uh, risky risky undertaking so um parang as with everything please exercise your due caution and like uh, do your research and then before you go in and dive dive deep into trading you know Right, right. Because risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. So if babangga ka lang, whatever, kahit hindi nga sa crypto, guys, whether it's business or or anything, then devour no. If you don't know what you're doing, then basically it's a risky thing to do. So it's not it's not just trading uh, equities, not just trading stocks or cryptocurrency. If you don't know what you're doing, then basically that's risk especially if it involves money and your time. Exactly. Okay. Thank you, Ken. Let's move on uh, to the question. So our first question um, will be featured here on the screen. Can, can we have a screen feature? Okay. Siguro, we can start there. Uh, I think, okay. From Rafael, I think uh, Ken asked this already, but I uh, can answer this already. But uh, what's your preferred time frame in trading crypto? All right. Um, in my case, I just use hourly chart for my execution, and for uh, trend identification, I use daily and weekly. So, medyo long, I medium to long term yung time frame na ginagawa ko, because I only I only trade. Those major crypto like uh, e uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Ripple. Litecoin, so Ripple, yep. So hindi ako masyado mahilig sa they call basura crypto <laughs> or altcoins, right? Altcoins is the right time term. Sorry. <laughs> no worry. Okay, thank you, Rafael, for the question. 
Next question from Carl. Can you still profit even if the market is sideways? Oh, yeah. Um, definitely, definitely. Um, pwede mo siyang, if you can identify uh, that the uh, market that you're trading is sideways, so since marunong ka na, you can just basically uh, buy near your support, a bounce of support, that might be a good um, uh, way for you to trade um, sideways market and then sell it uh, once it hits near resistance. Good point. And I okay. think um, to add to, sorry, you were saying something, Ken. No, 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 go ahead, Kyle. Um, I think um, yung, a good principle to follow in trading is to also like keep it simple. Parang, mm -hmm. There are lots of parang maraming indicators and everything, right? Like it helps also, but like support and resistance are the fundamentals of trading also because that's where you know like supply and demand, right? And figure out, figuring out the trends. Yes, that's right. All right. Okay. Um, next question, please. Um, from Johans, can I use this lesson for trading in Forex? Yeah, definitely. Support and resistance is applicable. Yeah. Kahit ano pa yung uh, tinitrade mo. Yeah, fundamental kasi siya in trading talaga yung support and resistance. Thank you. Um, let's go from Philip. Sir Ken, how much percent down before considering a bounce play? Also, how do you lessen fake outs? So, medyo deep yung ano, <laughs> yung oh, question is. <laughs> I think um, I'll keep it like in a basic answer na lang siguro. Ah, uh, okay. For bounce plays, I rarely do it sa crypto, but if you're gonna be asking me sa uh, the stock side, um, especially in the Philippine stock market, I gust, mas gusto kong bug-bug yung stock kasi totally down. Let's say 20% in one day or 30% on one day before I can say that uh, pasok siya sa bounce play criteria ko. And so, yun. Ka kailangan sobrang bugbog ng price pababa for me to consider it, uh, consider it a, as a possible bounce play. And how do you lessen fake outs? Um, tranching. You do tranches. So just do not buy in just one go. Basically, hati hati in mo yung position mo to tranches so that you ano uh, lessen your risks, especially on fake outs. So hope I answered your question. Thank you, Philip. Slightly advanced yung ano, pero thank you for your interest also. That's for when you get deeper na into trading. Yeah, that's right. Thanks, Philip. Okay. Siguro so we'll entertain like three three more questions before we can like ano or keep the ball rolling if ever lang. Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, game yung from Carl. Carl again. Hi Ken. Hi Sir Ken. What are some challenges you experience when trading cryptos, if any? Also want to know if there is close and open like BSE. Oh, um, as far as I know, twenty four seven, right? Yes. Um, uh, crypto. Yeah, 24 7. 24-7 on crypto, unlike uh, the PSE na 9.30 to ngayon, 1 p.m. na ngayon, right? And Mondays to uh, to Fridays lang siya. So for crypto, if you have a strategy in solid, you can just trade it every day or depende sa strategy mo. Ha? Uh, but in my case, like I mentioned earlier, uh, medium to long term yung, yung approach ko sa crypto. Um, so the challenges are um, actually not much challenges uh, trading crypto because there are automatic orders. So if you'd be placing like if you want to buy upon a break of resistance, you can just set your prices. Na ito yung price ko na buy point ko, and then you can just put your cut loss as well automatically. So kahit tulog ka, it can just still execute your orders. So yun yung nakaganda dyan. Unlike sa PSC na medyo hirap. Although, meron na ata ng mga platforms right now na may, may automatic na rin na orders. Right. So, challenges lang siguro would be siguro if short-term trader ka, as in, totoo ka talaga kasi 24-7 eh, yung, yung market. 
So if di define yung ano mo trading strat- strategy baka mahirapan ka. Okay. Thank you Carl. Um we have one here from Karen actually. Kapag na plot na po yung support and resistance, what, what is the best time to buy and sell? Sorry newbie question. It's all right to ask questions. <laughs> We're here for you, Karen. Yes. We are. Karen. <laughs> so the best time for buy uh, to buy for me is one i'm a, a so for guys na nakikinig no uh, i usually trade trending moves um medyo iniiwasan ko yung sideways move especially in the pse uh, but for crypto okay yung okay pa rin yung sideways movement you can still make money on it pero the best time for me to buy is once a um, there is a break of a resistance, and once there is a bounce of a support, so those two would be my um, my buy points. Because um, in my case, no, once a, a high is taken out, once a resistance is taken out, and you buy upon the break or at the break of resistance, mas malit yung risk mo. Um, because pag bumalik, ede, Malit yung cut mo. I mean, mas malapit ka sa invalidation point ng trade idea mo. If you buy upon bounce of support, it's the same thing. Once a support is taken out, hindi siya totally nag-bounce, you can just cut your losses once na-invalidate yung trade idea mo. Alright. Uh, hope that answered your question, Karen. Thank you for your curiosity. It's great to ask questions. Okay. Dean. Um... Sigur, I can put this one more related sure. to support. It's all right. Hi, Sir Yuri. Do you mean that if I see three higher highs, is it it is already in an uptrend condition? Yes. Um. Yeah. Sobra nga ang dalawa lang yung ano eh, uptrend eh. And, uh, the initial move up, one higher high, and the second higher high, or higher lows. So yes, kung four, higher three. Yeah, but basically that's an uptrend. Although, do make sure that there are other times now, or there would be times na pag masyado kang zoom in sa, sa chart, makikita mo yung higher highs and higher lows. But once once you zoom out and look at the bigger picture, it's still on a big sideways or big consolidation. So take note mo lang sa saan ka nagtitingin, uh, tumitingin, I mean. All right. Thank you, Ramon. Um, I have one here. I, I can answer it. Uh, bakit hindi po pareho pareho ang prices ng crypto sa ibat ibang platform po? Um, so just to share, um, PDAX is a order book platform, meaning meron talaga nagbebenta at chaka meron talagang bumibili. So there's a mark, there's a true market for buyers and sellers. Therefore, yung spread namin compared to um, other exchanges here in the Philippines are is smaller because uh, wow. you know, other um, platforms um, you're only buying from them so they set the price um, whereas dito naman with PDAX um, you can be uh, assured naman that we have smaller spreads because there are people willing to buy and sell like there are real people buying and selling so, thank you Balason thank you Balason Balason um can so last two questions or last one question for this okay. webinar uh, ask lang kayo ng questions uh, i can i can share this from neil hi so the best time to buy crypto is there are two higher lows his higher low history and best time to sell is there are two higher highs. And my probability bang to maas ang XRP sa mga susunod na months. <laughs> so <laughs> that's. <laughs> so. Answer muna natin yung first ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Is the best time to buy crypto if, if, if there is there are two high, higher lows history? Um, there's no best and pangit na time to buy it as long as 
may objective ka in what you're doing or what you're trading. So kahit hindi pa yan higher, higher, higher low na kikita mo sa chart, but you have another strategy in how you handle or how you approach that trade. Hindi uh, mo masasabing pangit siya or the best time siya to buy or or not, right? So again, but in your case, if your question is, is if you like to tra- trade trending moves or trending cryptos, then if you see a higher high and higher low previously, then just trade with a trend. Because it would be much easier for you kasi kakampi mo yung mga buyers, ibang buyers. So there's a quote that say, says, um, trend is your friend until it bends. So if you see a trending move, just trade with the trend. Don't mong kontrahin. Right. For the second question, oh, make kind of a best time to sell is two higher highs. So depend, like I've mentioned, depend if you have target prices, if you have trail stops, which is a different topic. Na hopefully, Pedax would be able to, you know, go, uh, invite a little sila ng another ano, speaker we'll for that. Yun. Yes. We will, so, para, we will. para complete yung experience na dito sa, yeah. ano, sa technical analysis. So, um, right, for, for your third question, XRP, I don't really have any idea, to be honest. So, uh, um, I don't really guess kung anong gagawin ng isang uh, crypto, commodity, or stock. I just react on, on what they will do. So I'm a reactive trader. Pag gusto niyang tomas, if there's if I see a breakout, then basically I'll trade the breakout. I won't guess if it's gonna go up or not. I just follow the price. So if the price wants to move sideways, I stay out. If the price wants to move downtrend, I go in. If the price wants to go uptrend, I go in. So that's how I approach my trades. Hey, thank you, Neil. Thank you, Neil. Uh, meron tayong question dito regarding ano yung, magkano yung minimum investment to open an account in PDAX. Just to plug PDAX, um, um, minimum of 200 pesos lang to cash in. Uh, very, like, minimal lang yung pwede, pwede mo i-deposit to start trading already after verifying. Thank you, mm-hmm. Rafael. Yeah. So very, like, low commitment. Whereas other, I mean, like, like stock brokers are mag ma ten thousand usually or five thousand right Again, yeah. yeah okay all right so I think that's all all that we have for now no no more questions regarding the giveaway um thank you to those who asked questions um really made the webinar really fruitful um we'll be having more weekly webinars as usual regarding your favorite topic so we we saw that today your questions were more and like you were really interested. Thank you for that. We'll be having more um, technical analysis and trading strategy webinars to help you trade more and all. So with that, thank you again, Ken, for joining us in our webinar this week. Sure, no problem. So guys, uh, plug ko na lang din. Uh, kindly like uh, our page, Z Freaks Tribe. So you can just search it uh, Facebook. And if you guys want to engage deeper into trading uh, the Philippine stock market or equities, we actually have an um, upcoming seminar, I think, this August. So it's a paid uh, seminar, guys. So if you're really interested to go deep deeper into um, strategies and how to approach the local market, uh, we can uh, help you with that. So plug ko lang yung chart. I mean... So this right, is right. technical incentive um, that will start this uh, August 10. So online siya, MWF, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. So three hours siya. So bakbakan ng ano, tatlong, tatlong three days na bakbakan sa technical analysis. So that's and it for me. Ken. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ken. Just to clarify, in like what you learn from those intensives, and you can apply in any kind of market, correct? Yes, yes, yes. So, kahit crypto rin pwede. Yung. Pwede, kahit crypto. Yung. Okay, with that, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ken. I'll thank see you, you guys. Thank, thank you, guys. Bye-bye.